Welcome back to another video, you hardworking men and women. I am on the couch, baby. I got the laptop out here today, and I am here to give you the midday watch list. So if you're still looking for some stocks to trade and you haven't made any money today and you want to make some money, you want to turn on the money printer so your wife can admire you, your kids can respect you, and your friends can want to be you, then today's video is going to be very valuable for you because I'm going to go over the top gainers in the market right now and see if there's any money-making opportunities for you guys and give you, my, uh, give you my thoughts and opinions on that. Now, if you guys want a one-on-one -on -one coach that can help you take it to the next level, you want all of our trade alerts sent straight to your phone every single day and you want access to our private live streams then go ahead click that link do it right now pause the video put in your name phone number and email and we would be happy to help you out and help you level up here in 2024 so with that being said let's go ahead and dive into today's watch list so the very first stock on the watch list guys is going to be grrr grr and uh, this one is up over 108% today. Now, as you can see from my screen, this thing is currently sitting at around $1.15. So what we're going to do here is going to go ahead and map out the high for the day. So if the high for the day right now is around 124. That's a high that we hit the body of the candle right here before we got rejected. Now, one thing I want you to notice here is that on my chart here, we did fall down below the 13 EMA. But that 21 EMA is acting as a really good support right here. And I like to call that the death line because usually when we fall down below the 21 EMA, like a stock I'm going to show you here in a second, we get a really bad uh, code brown candle, as we like to say on this channel, where you just get a ton of selling pressure. So this is pretty good support right here around the 21 EMA. If you wanted to try the ride, the uh, 21 EMA back up to the $1.23 level or $1.24 level, I don't think that would be a bad trade. Let's go ahead and map out what that would look like as far as possible reward here. That would be around a 9 to 10% gain. So that's something that you could do with tight risk management if you wanted to take that trade. Or if you just want to wait for a breakout here, we would definitely be waiting for the breakout above 124 on the five minute time frame for GRRR. So guys, that's what I would be looking at right here. Overall, if you take a look at this thing, I mean, it's really just been riding well above the 9 EMA almost all day. Every single time we come down to this 21 EMA level, we are making a good bounce here. So this could be a good bounce opportunity. Now, let me tell you about the bad about this setup. Is if we fall down below the 21 EMA, you're gonna wanna try and cut your losses as quick as possible on this one, or it's up to you, it's your money, you can hold it, you can do whatever you want. But for me, I would probably be looking to cut my losses because there's a very good chance we could come down back to the VWAP. All right. So next up on the list is going to be FDMT. Now, as you can see, after pre-market and market open here, this thing just had a massive pullback all the way from 36 bucks basically to where it's at, at $31. I wouldn't be watching this one too much. I don't think there's too many trading opportunities you need to worry about right here. So let's move on to the next one. We have YTE in here, as you can see. It's really just been riding the 913 and 21 EMA down here. Um, we've really been trying to pop back above it, but every single time we try, we just get rejected, which is an overall sign that this thing is in a downtrend and probably going to see bearish action for the rest of the day for YTEN. So I want to be worrying about that one. For CHEA right here, this thing just took an absolute code brown after it hit a high of around 16 bucks. Now trading at $8. And that's what makes penny stocks so risky that you can make these big moves you can make a ton of money but if you just sit there and you hold and you don't have a good strategy and a good trading plan going into these trades then that is exactly what can happen what you see on the screen right here where you hold something and it ends up pulling back over 50 percent and you lose half your money so chea i don't really like trading stocks that are in a massive downtrend like that so i would not be looking at that one and would not be willing to trade that one now outside of that guys you know you have mor i don't say think this one's gonna be a great trading opportunity today it's already sitting at 16 cent kind of a slow mover so if you were to get into that stock i don't think you would see any substantial gains on that one so the big uh stock to be looking at today midday right here is going to be grrr okay multiple options here you can see we're still using that 21 ema as support so we can try and get in right here actually around this level where it's currently at right now and try and ride it up for a nice five to ten percent gain could possibly make money on that or if you just want to wait for a breakout you can set your alert right here at a dollar and 24 cent on weeb all you have to do is right click that bad boy create the alert hit save and then it will alert you whenever the uh the stock hits that price so that's all i got for you guys in today's video hope that was valuable for you hope you guys made some money today it's a pretty dry day in the market overall so if you didn't make any money no biggie we'll come back tomorrow unfortunately we can't control the market but we can control how we react to it we can't predict we can only react so with that being said if you want a one-on-one -on -one coach you want to take your training to the next level click the link in the youtube description or the top pin comment i'll see you guys in the next video deuces